guys, Mike here, and today I'm going to be covering the card game Robinson Crusoe Escape from Despair Island. And as you can see from the uh, small box with just a big deck of cards inside, a massive deck of cards, now, this is not the Robinson Crusoe from Portal Games, but uh, a card game that is in its main mode fully competitive, but there is a solo play as well, and that's what I'm going to be looking at today. Now, full disclosure needed, uh, the solo mode when I was sent the game was very bare bones. Basically, it was just playing through the game without much of a timer or tension, I found. You would kind of just tend to win eventually, no matter what. So with the designer's uh, permission, I <laughs> basically designed my own little variant on the solo play that adds a timer and uh, adds some tension back into uh, the game. So what I'm showing you today is not fully vetted by the designer yet. Uh, I'm hoping he likes it and maybe puts it in the full version of the game. But this is uh, my version of the solo game. So, hey, here you go. Even though I'm doing a regular playthrough, you get to see a little bit of my uh, design work as well. So setup for the game is basically nothing. I mean, really, the only hard part is shuffling all these cards. What I tend to do is uh, shuffle them as two separate piles and then uh, put half of the cards together and uh, shuffle those piles again. But once you've shuffled everything, all you got to do is take uh, five cards, represent your five starting food, and there's a fun little uh, kind of graphic mechanic. All the backs of the cards have this lovely image of varied types of food, although it looks a little bit nicer than I might cook if I was on a deserted island. And uh, the idea is that uh, cards that are face down represent food, and then uh, face up they become whatever they uh, actually are in the game in terms of resources and items and threats and that kind of thing. But yeah, with five cards in your food pile, you are ready to play. Now the basics of the game are incredibly simple. And I will still explain how the competitive game works a bit as I go along because the solo mode still has a lot of the same elements in it. So at the beginning of every turn, you discard one food card face up. So that's your timer. If you run out of food completely, you can uh, eat the items you've gained, basically. And uh, if you run out of all your cards, then you are done. You'll lose the game. Okay, next you go into your exploration phase. And what you're going to do is you're going to flip over cards one at a time from left to right. And you're going to go until you either take one card until you reveal two threats that might stop your expiration and uh, force you to kind of run away, or until you get 10 cards, then you have to pick a card you can't get beyond 10. So the first one I flip is a Goat Kid. This is a basic food card. It's gonna get me two food, which remember is kind of like my timer when I spend for things, uh, if I catch this goat and eat it. So I could draw more cards and then I would be able to pick any of them, but in my little solo variant, if you turn up a card with a victory point value and don't take that card, the AI will get it instead. So it is uh, not always in my best interest to flip up as many cards as possible. So for now, I'm actually going to stop and just get this goat kid. I just uh, discard that and add two cards to my food pile, and I'm ready for another turn. Okay, now we've got one of the main types of cards in the game, a threat card. So these are uh, the first one. It's kind of like Diamant or Ink and Gold, if you've ever played that. The first one doesn't do anything, but the second one forces you to stop your expiration for the turn. Now, unlike Diamant or Ink and Gold, it doesn't matter like if you get doubles of a type. Any two threat cards, even if one is Cannibals and another one is a Storm, will force you to maybe stop exploring. The number of skulls up here from one to three shows the general danger of the card. Uh, so this is a pretty weak card, but uh, the next threat card I could get would be a lot worse. Cards will, in general, have the cost to uh, defeat or gain the card here in the middle. So here, if I had a rifle and some gunpowder, I could fight off the cannibals. Or if I had a uh, palisade, a wall built, I could fight them off. And that would let me either get three food or keep exploring. So these are generally the costs of the card, and these are generally uh, the benefits for getting it. But for now, I'm going to keep on exploring. And okay, so here we get a teacher card. This is a late game card. It's worth six victory points. Uh, this symbol will be related to by other cards, so having this starred teaching symbol will let you do other things. And to get this card, I need to have a reading skill, I need to have the teaching skill, and I need to have Friday on the island with me, and I'll be able to teach him. And this can actually help me escape the island. But as it is, I don't have any of that stuff. So this is going to hang around, and like I said, whenever a card with a victory point value comes out, the AI is now going to get that. Now, in my solo variant, the AI only gets one of those cards, no matter how many of them come up. So I'm kind of now free to draw more cards. But if I had the ability to grab that card, I would really want to do so because I would be stopping the AI from getting uh, one of its victory points. 
And uh, the way I do it is I just say uh, you set whatever victory point threshold you want to play to. I found uh, 15 is kind of normal difficulty and like 12 is hard. So I'm going to try 12 and see if I can get uh, off the island because you don't really win by victory points except with one specific path. You have multiple ways to get off the island and I'm going to try to be rescued before the AI gets 12 victory points. Here's a beacon campfire. That's one way to be rescued, but I do not have, let's see, what do I need for this? I need to have 16 victory points and some gunpowder and some wood. <laughs> Again, I just got here, so none of that is going to work out for me. Okay, potatoes. If I had a box, I could carry them with me and get four food. I do not, so another card that can't help me. Okay, so here is a read card. This will let me get a bunch of other cards later. For right now, it's just me practicing reading, and it's three victory points while it hangs out. This cost in the upper right-hand corner is how much food another player would have to discard if I was playing a competitive multiplayer. But for me, I only pay the cost down here, which is nothing. So I'm going to put this in my base. Uh, it costs me nothing. And then, again, the AI will get one card with victory point thing. Now, even if there were, like, three cards with stars, they only get one. And the value doesn't matter. It's just always one card. So he is now one twelfth of the way to winning in my little solo variant. And all I've got is a little bit of reading. And all the rest of these get discarded. Now, to briefly talk about how the competitive game works, uh, how it goes is each player takes a turn being the explorer and gaining one card from the things they explored. And then every other player can take uh, one or more cards if they can pay the cost and fulfill the uh, requirements there. So, like, if somebody else had a box, they could take the potatoes that I left behind. So uh, the, the solo mode is sort of trying to replicate that. I don't get to buy from anybody else's pile, but I found just the speed of uh, quickly seeing if the AI gets a star card was uh, kind of the best way to go. All right, pay another food. I'm doing okay. And, oh man, another victory point card. This is a box and a boat. Two great items, and I would get both of them if I had an axe and two wood. I don't. And some cards do have alternative food costs, so I could just buy this straight out for seven food, but I don't have that much, and I don't think I could afford to spend it on that anyway. Oh, a threat card, depression. Friday. This card is huge. It's really important for a lot of victory conditions. And also, he lets me take two cards every turn instead of one. But he also forces me to eat two food every turn instead of one. And he costs six food to get himself. So that's not happening right now. Oh, and there is another threat. And I currently have no way to deal with these. These are both three star or three skull threats. So I get nothing for this turn except losing my food. But the AI gets one of these. I'll give him the Friday. And uh, the other star card gets discarded because, again, the AI is only getting one card per turn. Okay, eat my food. This is going pretty terribly. Oh, wise man. If I had uh, one prayer card and two reading cards, I could gain this. Or if I already had 15 victory points. And this would uh, let me ignore a lot of threats and would give me the power to win the game on just victory points like the AI is doing right now. But I can't do that. Ooh, rifle and axe. Now that's great. Um, this will give me both a rifle to shoot uh, food with and also to fight off some people and an axe to build things if I get some wood. So I could keep drawing and, you know, I'm not in danger of the AI getting anything else. I'm not in danger of losing my threat yet. But, I mean, this is just such a good card. I'm just going to grab that right away. And the AI gets, oh my gosh, 3 out of 12. Maybe I should have picked a uh, higher value for him to shoot for. Okay, I'm down to 2 food. Let's hope my rifle helps me uh, fix that a bit. Storm Strike. Oh, man of God. Oh, gosh. I have the reading. If I had the prayer, I could get this. But that is another card for the AI. Friday. Still can't afford him. Palisade. Don't have the wood to build it, even though I do have an axe now. And, oh, <laughs> Okay, this might be a short playthrough, but I guess you'll still get to see how the game works. So all of these have stars. I'm going to pick one of them for the, uh, the opponent to get. I was actually pretty close to getting the Man of God and the Palace. I mean, Friday's so expensive, I'm going to let him get that. So that's four victory points for the AI, and uh, I haven't made much progress myself. In fact, I'm about to start starving. If I uh, lose both these cards, I'll have to discard either my reading or my rifle and axe. So let's hope some food shows up. Okay, boat and palisade. Again, don't have the wood. And a box and a boat. Oh, great, great, great. So here's some food, at least. Okay, so shoot a bird. I have a rifle to do this, and it gets me four food. Again, if I didn't have the rifle, I could not take advantage of this card. So the AI will get their fifth point from that. But I will gain four food from shooting a bird, bringing me back to five. I'm not feeling great about my progress against the solo opponent, but at least I'm not starving. Okay, cannibals attacking. And you get depressed. Okay, well, that was a quick exploration. Uh, now, I do have a rifle, but I would need to have gunpowder to fight him off. 
but you always face the card with the higher skulls. So I would have to do the uh, three skull depress card instead of the cannibals. And I actually did have Reed to stop that, but I did not have the uh, prayer that would have protected me. Okay, eat a food. Pirates attacking. Gunpowder. I'm going to stop there. Don't want to let the AI get another star card. I'm happy to have gunpowder. Uh, useful for fighting off some things, setting fires. Okay, eat my food. Storm. Man, there's so many threat cards. Pray. I'm stopping right there. I hope I get that Man of God card again because I'm ready to uh, earn it this time. Okay, and the threat goes away. See, so yeah, I'm trying to take cards as quickly as possible, especially a star card like that. I don't want the AI to get it. Okay, I'm down to one food. And, ah, first threat again. Oh, gosh. So, yeah, if I had uh, three huts and a box, I got none of that. I could uh, hide from the storm, but right now I'm totally washed up and can't even do anything but sob with my rifle and my gunpowder. All right, there's my final food. <laughs> Not feeling good about this, guys. Okay, escape the island. If I had uh, taught Friday and had a boat, we could leave. Uh, nope. Palisade. Ah, don't have the wood, and it's going to give the AI victory points. Okay, herbs. These can prevent some of the threat cards, but I can't eat them to actually sustain myself, so I'm going to keep digging. Exploration is interesting. This lets me take additional card, so I can take Exploration and still take something else. And then later on, it lets me also take a second card, or it lets me double the food I'm getting from a card. Okay, a hut. I don't have the wood to build any of this. I actually have reading to beat this, so uh, for now I'm not worried about that. Okay, ah, I got another depressed, and if I had reading and exploration, but I didn't actually get the exploration yet, so I get nothing for this turn, and uh, the AI will get a hut. So they are halfway to winning, and I am starving. Oh man, I have to actually discard one of these cards to even stay alive. Uh, let's get rid of the gunpowder and see what happens. I get sick. <laughs> Maybe I ate the gunpowder. Oh, gosh! <laughs> okay, this has not been a fun shuffle for me. i got to keep the rifle and axe. Uh, I guess I'll give up prayer and keep reading. Uh, okay, more gunpowder. No. Get depressed. A box that I can't build, but it's going to help the AI. Gunpowder and wood. I mean, that's, that's great. I could build something, but I need food. Escape the island. No chance. Shoot a bird. Okay. Four more food. I have uh, somewhat delayed the inevitable, it seems. <laughs> but uh, yeah, the AI is at seven victory points now. Maybe I made my own variant too difficult. Well, not really. I just picked a very low number to start with. Okay, I'm eating. Storm strikes. Read. Okay, I'll take it. That's fine. I just hope I get some more food. Um, a hut. I don't have wood. Rifle and axe. Uh, a second rifle can actually be helpful. Yes. Goat. Okay, with four more food, I'm feeling somewhat secure. Really, the problem is that he's got eight victory points, and I am not even close to winning. I need to start getting some wood to build stuff. Okay, let's see what we get. Prey, I'll take it. I don't want him to get it. Although this is eating through my food to take the first card each time. Wood! Yes. So now if a uh, constructible thing comes up, I'll have a chance to build it before he does. But I'm down to, uh, I'm down to four cards again, so... Uh, okay... Beacon Campfire, if I was a man of God with some gunpowder and wood, I'm not. Another Beacon Campfire. Cannibals. A box and a boat. No! No, 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 I need two wood. Two wood, and I only have one. So that's going to be another victory point for him. Gosh. And a Storm Strikes. Um, oh, man, if I had kept the gunpowder, I could have fought off the cannibals, but I didn't. So this is his ninth victory card. He needs three more to win, and I am just circling the drain here. Okay, wise man. Uh, I need two reading and a prey. I actually have it. I actually have it. Okay, so I am uh, discarding these cards. Usually you don't have to discard your prayer and reading and teaching cards, but specifically to get these starred special cards, these character cards, uh, you do have to discard the cards. So here, the wise man, I now can automatically beat any threat that's level one or two, which is ridiculous. And also, I can win the game by victory points. Now, I say it's the same as in the two-player game, which means I need 25 victory points. So my six versus the AI's uh, nine doesn't seem too likely. All right, well, I'm a wise man, and I'm wisely going to starve. Exploration and wood. That's great. It give me that exploration bonus and some wood. Oh, and another one. Okay. And teaching. Hmm. All right, so let's stop 
Remember, I get a second. Oh, I can actually get. I can chain this together because each exploration gives me another card that I can get. So I've got teaching. I've got two. I've got three wood now and an axe, but I only have one food left, and there it goes. Okay, pirates I can't defeat. Oh, no, that's right. I ignore all that. Fish. Yes. Yes. I will fish right around the pirates. I'm so smart. I just <laughs> go right past them. They can't do anything about it. Three food to keep me going. Let's spend one of it now. Okay, shooting. Hey, it's worth a star, so I'm going to take it now so the AI can't. But this uh, gives me this new icon because I'm really good with my rifle and I can actually repel more threats with this, so not bad. And actually, you know what? I don't have to take that yet because I do have the exploration card. I could take a second card anyway. Okay, never mind. We're going to take it before something bad happens. Okay, down to two food. Okay, a hut. I can build that with one of my woods. I'll use the regular wood and keep these because I have to use them for either their exploration effect or their wood effect. So the hut will protect me from some threats, although with the wise man, it's not as important. But main thing is I'm not letting the AI get that victory point. Here's my final food again. This keeps on happening. Okay, here's a raft. This would give me back my gunpowder. But it's not food. It doesn't have stars. Pirates attacking. I can ignore that. It's a level two. Ah, shipwreck. So this gives me four food if I have the least. What I do in the solo mode is if I have uh, less than six food, I get four. And that card is resolved immediately. Does not impact my current uh, round of trying to get these uh, expiration cards. Ah, depressed. So unfortunately, uh, I can't ignore this because it is a level three. Now I can stop it if I have reading and praying. And I do have reading because my wise man kind of counts as a permanent, uh, but I don't have praying, I have teaching. So unfortunately, I don't get anything that turn. But hey, neither does the AI. I've definitely uh, had a lot more success in kind of stalling him right now. Okay, one of my four remaining food. Get sick, but I can ignore that. Okay, so I can ignore those. So with the wise man, I can basically uh, defeat these automatically. So I can uh, either discard the cannibals and keep on going, or I can take five food from them. That seems like a great option. I'm going to take the five food, and hey, let's discard one of my explorations. Not get the wood, but make it ten food. Although, you know what, that's only from food cards, not from threats. So I can't do that doubling, unless it's a real food card, I believe. Alright, but I'm kind of loaded up with food right now. Oh, man of God. Uh, do I have praying? I don't have praying. I don't have reading. I don't have any of those to discard. Ah, that's going to be another victory point for the AI. And rotten food. Oh, no. If I have six or more food, I lose half of it. And I have seven. It's rounded up. So I am down to three food again. That was not great. And the pirates attack. Um, I do not have a palisade. I do not. Oh, I do. Have, yeah, I have three of these. Oh, no. I don't have the gunpowder either. So I'm defeated because that's a level three card. Um, and the AI gets the man of God. Just to show you, that is three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Two more star cards, and he wins. Why did I pick such a hard level for myself? <laughs> All right, eating some food. Rifle and axe. Don't really need that. Uh, Friday catches fish. If I had Friday, I would get five food. That would be beautiful. Wood. I've already got two wood. It's still not a victory point card. Oh, no. A teacher card that I can't take, which means the AI is going to get it. Oh, that'll be their 11th point. Coconut palm, I can't grab it because I don't have a box. Gunpowder and a rifle. I could use the gunpowder, but uh, I'm going to keep on going. Okay, shipwreck. I do get four more food from that. I still haven't gotten a threat card, so I might as well keep on going. Two times herbs. That could protect me a lot, but again, my wise man is kind of protecting me from everything anyway. Okay, cannibal's attack couldn't actually hurt me, but I might get a three star. So, you know, let's get the gunpowder, something I actually don't have yet. But the AI is getting the teacher. This is potentially the final card I will see him using. Just to kind of show you all the stuff I have. I have two expirations with wood. I have a wise man, a gunpowder, and a rifle. So I have two rifles and gunpowder and an axe. The shooting skill, a teaching card, a hut. But no boat to escape, no Friday to escape with me. I'm still pretty far from winning and the AI is one card away. I do feel depressed. Thank you, game. You're absolutely right. Oh, Pirates attacking. Okay, that's uh, that's it. I'm defeated because I don't have a palisade to uh, get the final thing I require to defeat them. All right, well. Okay, wood. I don't really need that. Okay, definitely going to take that. This is a teach or a read card, but uh, I'm stopping it from the AI getting the, the victory point for it.
Okay, I'm gonna eat again. Okay, Friday. Oh no, I don't have enough food to get him. Hmm. Okay, I'm not sure about this, but yeah, I know you can pay for for things with your cards when you're starving. I'm not sure if I can pay for things at other times, but let's pretend we can and just totally spiral ourselves into death because otherwise we lose. So that's a five cards, and let's see. I guess I don't need uh, my shooting skill. So six cards. We'll get Friday. <laughs> and then he's going to immediately make us eat two cards when we have nothing. So, yeah, I mean, I might have cheated there, but either way, I think we're probably going to die right now. I guess I'll get rid of my hut and my teaching card. Okay. And so I can take two cards now, so I can take the teaching. Hey, shipwreck. Good luck. We like that. So Friday will let me take two cards. Oh, do I have a box? I do not have a box to collect those berries with. Do I have a wood for a boat? No, I don't. Okay, so... That'll be basically it. Um, I mean, we'll play it out. Yeah, so I can get a wood there. So Friday could get me the wood, and I could use the wood to build the boat. But then they would still get the teaching and get their 12th victory points. But, uh, I mean, doing that, I would have a boat and Friday, which uh, there are some victory point conditions that require just that. So I wasn't too far from potentially winning. But, yeah, I mean, setting myself at 12 uh, cards, which again is like what I'm sort of calling hard mode for this variant. It was definitely a tough thing to do. Alright, so that's it. Uh, Friday and me will have to watch while this vague, shadowy opponent of mine just uh, sails away from the island without us. But, you know, I think we've got a pretty good setup here. We could survive for a while. I'm very wise. I have a lot of weapons. <laughs> and we're not, we're not quite starving at this point. So, uh, there you go. That is Robinson Crusoe, Escape from Despair Island. It should be coming to Kickstarter soon. And again, I can't promise that the solo mode you saw here is what will be in the actual uh, published version. It's a little bit rough, just something that I've been playing around with. But hopefully that at least gives you an idea of how the game plays and how the kind of cards you gather can go together for you. Good gaming, everyone, and we'll see you at the next stop.